Greetings, folk. Welcome to another edition of User Delight with Microsoft Technology. My name is Sanjeev Venkatram. So what we're going to do here is to look at how you could operate only on certain columns in a given set of data within Power Query inside of Power BI. So essentially, you're looking at a data set here, a query inside of the Power Query editor. And let us say I just want to operate on this revenue column. I don't want, and then, you know, you could have upwards of, you know, 200 columns in a data set, and you want to operate on the 200th column. So you want to get rid of other columns so that you don't have to keep scrolling to where the 200th column is. So that's, in essence, what we're trying to do, right? So if I were to go to up here, choose columns up here in choose columns, I see all the columns that are in this data set. So I can deselect everything and I say, you know what, just give me the subsidiary and the revenue column, right? So now I just see these two columns and then I can say, hey, you know what, I want to separate out the currency and then, you know, the amount. So I'm just going to say split column by delimiter and then, you know, just pick the space as a delimiter and click OK. And lo and behold, we basically have got two columns now. One is, let us say, currency and the currency and the other one's the amount. And once I've done this operation, what I can basically go do is I can choose columns again, and then it'll actually show me the only three columns that I've been operating on. I can go click on in the applied steps on the right-hand side. I can just remove this, remove the other column. I'll delete this step. And lo and behold, I have all my columns now, right? So I've been able to isolate the particular column that I want to actually operate on, do the operation. Once I'm done with it, I remove the operation that says remove all other columns from before. So I get back everything. Okay. I trust this was useful. Um, you know, kindly look to seeing more of the of such videos in future. Thank you very much, folks.